This is uh, a pretty appropriate place to kick off, since this is where I spend most of my time uh, in the archives here, looking at medieval documents. And what we're looking at is how pulp culture, specifically American culture, has gripped onto this legacy and this lust for the medieval past um, and created their own thing. And we call that medievalism. It's not the real medieval past, but it's something different. Um, we use the word anachronistic. So anachronistic, I think we've talked about that before, is uh, something that doesn't really fit into the period, um, but it's something else. It's sort of an artistic difference. So you see that a lot in film. Uh, but this is where the modern era and the medieval past collide together to create something different. A lot of people who study the medieval past are often uh, frustrated with medieval movies that come out. But Hollywood is not about being historically accurate. It's about entertaining. It's about reaching the audience as we've talked about. So that doesn't matter about historical truth. It's about heritage. Heritage versus history. So heritage and understanding and what people want, what they want to think of the past and what they could take out of the past, certain ideals, is what his medievalism is. Um, I'm going to show you some stuff and sort of talk about some of the tr medieval past um, that's the truth and sort of aspects of the film that we're going to watch. Uh, we're going to look at how that collides together um, and how that's a big part of American culture, uh, which I think will be an interesting thing to end the class with. Um, since so many movies coming out now and in the summer uh, deal with this genre and this aspect, so it's a good thing for you to know and you can share with all your friends and family um, and understand what's going on there and how to use history blended in an artistic way to create something new and exciting. And that's what medievalism is all about.